Members Only is a rap collective that was started by XXXTentacion and Ski Master Slump God in 2014. While the SoundCloud rap era was flourishing, so was Members Only. Their first and last studio album, Members Only Volume 4, peaked at 18 on the Billboard charts. But it seems like shortly after ringleader XXXTentacion's death, the group began to fall apart. Today we're going to be taking a look at how the group got together, how the group fell apart, and what they're up to today. So first I want to establish a brief history and a list of members for members only. Since like most underground rap collectives it can get very confusing. The issues within the collective are also very confusing and I sat through multiple hours of IG lives trying to sort it all out to the best I could. And I'm sure I'm missing some stuff that went on behind the scenes but I'll give it to you guys the best I can. In 2014, X and Ski who met in jail created the collective called members only. Although X does claim that he created members only and Ski created very rare, which are somewhat interchangeable. In April of 2015, they dropped the first ever Members Only mixtape, which was called Members Only Volume 1. It was just X and Ski at the time, and it featured popular songs like Freddy vs. Jason, which actually just recently got popular on TikTok. Around this time, though, X began announcing members on Twitter like crazy, Kid Trunks being one of the first. This is kind of when the Members Only member list gets pretty confusing. With many members coming and going throughout the collective's history, I'm mostly going to be focusing on members that are crucial to the collective's development. By July, X tweeted that there were already 20 people in Members Only. Later that year in October, they released Members Only Volume 2. By the end of 2015, there already seemed to be some turmoil in the group, which is honestly bound to happen when you have over 20 members in a collective. By the beginning of 2016, they had already done live shows, as you can see in the infamous Members Only Road to Denver vlog, and X was claiming that they already had 30 members. Members Only in this bitch! X even made a Members Only slash very rare theme for Google Chrome, which I think is just hilarious. I wonder if anyone was actually rocking the Members Only Google Chrome theme at the time. Throughout the lifespan of the collective, X would say on Twitter that the group was ending and then shortly after follow up saying it wasn't. However, on October 2nd of 2016, X announced that Members Only was ending and then never followed up saying that it was reinstated. Shortly after tweeting that, he was arrested and put in jail. The group remained inactive for a while until a few months later when Ski tweeted that Members Only was back. Then in April of 2017, X was freed from jail and in June, Members Only Volume 3 was released. At this point, Members Only was thriving because X's newfound popularity was boosting members only into the spotlight, especially since Members Only Volume 3 was released under his name. Some of the more popular members at the time, aside from X and Ski, included Kid Trunks, Craig Zen, Bass Santana, Flyboy Tarantino, and Cooley Cut. And I know there have been plenty more members in the group that are cool, such as maybe Wi-Fi's Funeral or Kill Station, but these are some of the members that would play a larger role in the collective's future. But anyways, throughout 2018, all the artists and members only were going about their careers until one fateful day. On June 19th of 2018, X was shot and killed, which would change Members Only for forever. It was pretty evident that X had been the glue that kept the group together, but it was also pretty obvious that throughout the whole collective's history there had been quite a bit of turmoil. Once X was gone, the group was without a leader, and that would eventually lead to the downfall of members only. Five months after X's passing, Ski dropped the album Stokely, which sparked probably the largest beef in members only. The intro track for Ski's album, So High, originally had a verse from Flyboy Tarantino. Ski took his verse off and put the song on his album. This upset Flyboy and other members who had a series of IG lives arguing about the situation. Ski was arguing that he had done multiple songs with Flyboy, so one song shouldn't matter, and the other members of the group were making multiple claims about Ski. Bro, come on now, bro. I ain't nothing but a good friend, bro. We have seven songs together, my nigga. Seven songs. And you mad because I put up one song that, you, that I took you off on my album. Regardless of who was right, Ski seemingly distanced himself from the group and only eventually had two songs on Members Only Volume 4. Speaking of which, Members Only Volume 4 was released in 2019 on X's birthday, and it gave the group even more attention. X was already in insanely popular at the time of his passing, and his death just further expanded his fan base. So when Members Only Volume 4 was released under his name, it got a ton of attention. It did the best numbers the group had ever seen, and probably the best numbers they will ever see. At the time, I really enjoyed the project, and I think it had some very solid songs. The album peaked at number 18 on the Billboard charts, and the group toured after the release. They also did a media run with some freestyles and some interviews. At this point in time, it looked like fans were looking to Craig Zen as the leader of the group and a personal favorite artist. However, another dispute happened between Craig and some of the other members of the group. Bass Santana was claiming that Craig Zen's Run It Back featuring XXXTentacion was intended for Members Only Volume 4, but Craig took it and used it on his own album, just so that he could make more money for himself. Regardless of what happened or who was telling the truth, Craig left Members Only shortly after and claimed it was all love. Other members like Trunks and Kinsoul seemed pretty salty that Craig left. Around the same time that Craig left, Cooley Cut was claiming that he was kicked from the group because he didn't want to sign a 20% contract. It seemed like the majority of all their issues were stemming from money and fake love. They 
all got together because of a mutual friend and that mutual friend was no longer around to keep them all together. During every single beef, people would have contradicting stories and use X's name to justify what they were saying. It was really weird and seemed really fake, making both sides hard to believe. Regardless of who was right or who was wrong, the group no longer had its most popular members, X, Ski, and Craig. After this, there hasn't been another members only drop, and it seems as if the group is inactive. After losing all of their leaders and most popular artists, members only had very clearly peaked that year, and it was only down from there. After 2019, we haven't really heard or seen much from members only as a collective. Ski has obviously had a very successful career so far. Out of the rest of the group, Craig seems to be the most successful, occasionally doing live shows and releasing music. Killstation, another member who left in 2019, but wasn't really involved in the beef, has had a fairly successful career outside of members only. Cooley Cut also still makes music and seems to be doing alright for himself. And Kid Trunks? Well, you know. The rest of the other members are either pretty inactive on social media, don't make music, or completely have fallen off. It seems like the members that distanced themselves from the group and tried to build up their own solo careers have done the best for themselves, while other members have just been trying to hang on to X's legacy for their own benefit. It's sad to say that members only as a collective has officially fallen off and probably will never make a comeback. I think there are a few members from the collective that have potential, but as of now, they've peaked. It's really unfortunate to see something that X and Ski have built up from 2014 fall apart so quickly after X's death. Let me know what you guys think about members only in the comments below. If you like this video, you may like the video where I covered X's lost and deleted songs and mixtapes. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This has been Matty Balls, and I'll see you guys next time.